Right now today, how many biological males are housed in female prisons under BOP? Senator, I don't have those numbers in front of me today. Why don't you? We could look at them and get back to you. Why don't you? Did I just you, don't have them top of Did you know you were going to be asked that today? No, Senator. Oh, you didn't. Have you been asked that before? On the record, Senator? Yes. I don't recall. You were asked a year ago in writing, and you failed to answer it in writing. You knew damn well you're going to be asked it today, but you don't want to answer it. Senator Lee asked, why don't you report the numbers? You don't report the numbers because you don't want people to know the numbers. So the fact that you sit there and say, I don't know, he said 1,300. Is that number in the ballpark? 1,300 as it relates to which category, Senator? Biological males housed in female prisons. No, that would be a much larger number. Which is a larger number? So the number of individuals who even identify as transgender at the Federal Bureau of Prisons is around 1,700. And the number of individuals that are housed in institutions not conforming with their biological sex are very low. Uh, very low. Are we talking 100? Are we talking 10? Are I we? I, we will look at the numbers. We're talking less than 10. So you, your testimony here, I just want to understand, your testimony here today is there are fewer than 10 biological males, human beings that were born male, who are housed in female prisons. Is that your testimony? That is my understanding, and I will confirm that and get back to you. Okay. Of the 1,700 uh, prisoners you referenced, uh, how many of them are convicted sex offenders? I do not know the answer to that, Senator. Uh, are you aware that... that uh, Great Britain's numbers, according to a January 2022 report, is the proportion of male-born tra uh, transgender offenders who are sex offenders in the UK prison system is roughly 60%, significantly higher than the 18% of the general population. Are, are those numbers consistent with the American numbers? I have, I'm not familiar with Great Britain's numbers. So let me ask you this. How many female inmates have been sexually assaulted by biological males who BOP has housed in female prisons? Senator, I would have to look into that and get back to you. Uh, do you have an obligation to protect those female prisoners? Absolutely. And so have you examined how many women have been sexually assaulted by biological males that BOP has placed in the prison with those women? I have not, Senator, but I will tell you that safety and security and the placement of every individual in our custody is top of mind and the most important. So if it's top of mind, why haven't you examined how many, how many have been sexually assaulted? This is an obvious question. If you put a man with male genitals, with a male body in a female prison who's a convicted sex offender, it's not rocket science that there's a real risk those women are going to be victims of sexual assault. How is it possible that you haven't even asked the question how many women are getting sexually assaulted because of the policies of the Biden administration? Senator, I assure you that safety and security of these individuals are top of mind. And if so there, you haven't asked the question. If there was misconduct, those individuals would be held accountable. Thank you, Senator Cruz. Um, 